Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I will try to explore what is ESP now in MicroPython and how we can use it in our Internet of Things projects. ESP now is a wireless communication protocol developed by Expressive Systems for their ESP32 and ESP8266 devices. It is designed for simple and efficient device-to-device -device communication. If ESP now is a wireless communication protocol, then let us compare it with Wi-Fi networks. In a Wi-Fi network, our IoT devices connect to a central router or access point. It is the job of the router or the access point to handle the message exchange between devices. In ESP now, we have removed the access point or the router and allow each device to directly communicate with each other. This is what we call as peer-to-peer -peer communication. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low-volume production, and PCB assembly service all under one roof. So, what are the features of ESP now and why it is popular for IoT and embedded projects? First, it is low latency. ESP now ensures that there is minimal delay for real-time applications. So, when you are retrieving sensor readings, then you should receive it at real-time. Next, low power. Devices can sleep to save power when not transmitting, which means that if a sensor device is not needed to retrieve any sensor reading, then we can put it in deep sleep. Peer-to-peer. -peer. Devices communicate directly with each other so, there is no need for a central hub. We can easily transfer the sensor readings from one device to another and store it somewhere in our database or in our server. If you want to learn more about ESP now, then go to the following link. So, where can we use ESP now? In a home automation project, we can use this to control our home equipment like lights or motors where Wi-Fi is not available. So, for example, if our light is far from our home, we can still use the ESP now to remote control when and where it will turn on or turn off. If we are reading sensor, it, like in our sensor networks, we can read the sensor readings even from short distances and there's no problem if there's no Wi-Fi involved. In our security system, we can use this to activate or trigger alarms whenever a burglar is detected. These are some of the practical applications of ESP now. So, now that you know the high-level overview of ESP now, then we can try to explore this protocol on our MicroPython IoT projects. Let's get started. So, I'm going to show you how you can install your MicroPython firmware with ESP Now support in your ESP32 or ESP8266 devices. So, I'm using an ESP32, so I just go into the download section of the MicroPython, and then I click the ESP32 here. And once that I'm here, I just click the ESP32, press it. And right now, there's the firmware section and the nightly builds in here. Uh, as of this time, September 2023, the ESP now support for the MicroPython firmware is not yet included in this one. So we just need to download the nightly build. Once you have downloaded the nightly build, as I have done already, the next thing that we need to do is just follow along with the steps. So open a uh, command prompt. So, I just post it here, and then I just change the port since I'm Windows, so this will be control, and then I'll click enter, oops. There's an error, let's try again. And as you can see, it now starts erasing the flash, so I just click here. And then let's go to the next step, which is here. 
and I will just copy also. I'll just change the port assignment and then make it COM12. And then I'll change the name of the binary that I'm going to install. So in here, so just paste it here. And then I'll just click enter. So it now starts downloading the firmware into the ESP32 file system. So all we have to do is just wait for it. And then once the uh, firmware is installed, then you need to open your Tony IDE so that we can validate if the ESP now support is installed together with the firmware. So I have here my Tony IDE. So it's now finished. So I just go into here and I just connect to COM12. So right now, this is, as you can see, this is the name of the firmware or the version. If I click import and then ESP now, then there should not be any issues. So as you can see, nothing or no issues was encountered, which means that we are now ready to create our projects using ESP now. So, in this video, I am going to show you a demo on how to get started with using ESP now on your MicroPython IoT projects. So, I have here two ESP32 and one ESP32 has a button connected to it while the other ESP32 has an LED connected to it. Uh, both these ESP32 are not connected to any Wi-Fi. So, what we're trying to accomplish here is that whenever I click this button, then it should turn on or turn off the LED connected to the ESP32 using the ESP Now wireless protocol. In a way, we are sending a message coming from this ESP32 to that particular ESP32. So let's go now to the code. So I have here my Tony IDE and there's two instances. And for the, the one at the right, this is what we call as our receiver. And it will program the code here for the uh, ESP32 with an LED. And for the left side, we will be running this uh, button sender. And this will be connected to this uh, ESP32. So right now, let's connect. Uh, validate pair first that we are connected. So right now I'm connected with COM8 and it's connected to COM12. What we can do right now is we first run the program running in this ESP32 in our receiver. And as you can see, it's now says it, uh, it is soft reboot. Then let's try running for the sender. And as you can see, it's running uh, together. Now, when we try to click this button, then it will send an ESP Now message into this ESP32 and it will turn on or turn off this LED. So let's try. And as you can see, whenever I click the button here, then the LED is still light on. If I turn it off, then it is turned off. So if I continue turning it on and turning it off, then you see that I was able to control the LED from the ESP32 coming from this ESP32 using ESP Now wireless protocol. If you take a look at the message that you're seeing in this program, then you would see that it is sending a command called LED on and LED off and it is being received by my ESP32 here and whatever the value or command it received, it just turns on or turn off the LED. So this is how powerful this ESP Now wireless protocol is. So we can use this in our uh, Internet of Things project and we don't need to use any external access point or Wi-Fi so that we can control other sensors like this one or for this button. So there's a remote control running from one ESP32 and we are able to talk with another ESP32. In this part of the lesson, I'm going to show you uh, the code on how we can send ESP now messages coming from our ESP32. 
Uh, this project is available in my GitHub repository and you can uh, download it. Uh, I'll share the link at the description of this video. So let's open first the ESB now button click sender and I'll let's try running through how this program works. So for the first part, we just need to import several modules like the GPIO machine and the network and the ESP now and the time module. Uh, next, we need to enable the wireless LAN interface that we have here. So we have created an instance of an ESP now and set it to active. Next, we need to define the MAC address of the peers that we wanted to send messages. In this case here, which is the ESP32B, Let's. this is the MAC address of the ESP32B, so we'll add it here. And this is the function where we connected the button. So once the button is de declared, then we can need to add some debouncing mechanism in MicroPython. So I have added a 50 seconds milliseconds delay for the debounce and inside the code i have here a while loop and as you can see uh, the coding here is just for the debouncing mechanism the important part is this part of the code wherein as you can see whenever the button state changes then i am sending a message and the message is being sent using the esp class that we have earlier and using the uh, method send so we just need to send the peer so this is the peer that we have here right now and as you can see i'm sending the, the mac address and the message that i wanted to send so it's really easy just it's turning led on or an led off then the loop we just continually uh, run and wait for the input coming from our user or from me Next, we need to discuss the receiver code. For the receiver code, this is the receiver code. And as you can see, it's actually much simpler. So we just need to import the necessary ESP now network and machine library and module. And in this case, we need to activate also the wireless LAN interface and then activate East also. And we need to define an ESP now module here. We also define an LED pin here while we have a loop in here that continually listen for any messages coming from our ESP now and once a message is received we just need to parse and then the parsing is we just need to check if it is LED on if it's on then we just turn on the LED using the GPIO pins in here or LED pin dot off if it's not recognized then we just print a known message so basically, that's really how easy it is to use ESP now in your MicroPython project. So using ESP now in your MicroPython project, then we, you can create a multiple real-time IoT project without using or and there's no need for a Wi-Fi access point. So each ESP32 can communicate or send messages with each other using peer-to-peer -peer networking. And that's it. So the write-up for this project is available in the description of this video. And the code also is av available. So you can just click there in the description. So that's all for this topic about the getting started with ESP now in MicroPython. In the next series of video, we'll use the asynchronous I.O. so that we can handle multiple inputs coming from our multiple sensors. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!